everyone, welcome to the Power Play with CJ. Today we're focusing on the uh, Lynn back for Enroth trade. Um, you know, Dallas needed a goalie to push Carey Layton. And I've never been a Carey Layton fan, and I think Enroth will definitely uh, push him to be better. Plus, he gets to be rescued from Buffalo, which is always a good thing. Um, but you look at what Buffalo got to be trade. Anders Lindback, who statistically has been, what's the word, awful. Um, and a conditional third round pick. I can't find the conditions right now, but... Either way, you get a draft pick and a bad goalie. That's good for Buffalo. I talked about last night in the show, Taylor Hall going down, puts Edmonton back in the driver's seat for that worst record in hockey. But today, Buffalo going out there trading for a couple roster players, essentially for Zach Bogosian right now. Obviously, Vander Kane's the key part of the trade, but he won't be around until next season. Um, and, you know, a pretty bad goalie to get, you know, some draft picks and some, you know, some youth. And I help you, you know, further sink in the standings. Buffalo's whole MO of the season was to tank. You know, and you look at the numbers Lindback put up, 875 save percentage and a 371 goals against average. Those numbers are absolutely awful. So, you know, you're able to um, get a real bad goal. It helped you lose some more games and, uh, you know, solidify your grasp on that number one pick. I mean, you know, their whole thing is to get themselves a Connor McDavid or Jack Eichel type. And, um, you know, do, making a move like this definitely benefits them in that regard. And then the conditional pick, you get another draft pick, you get to add some more youth into that organization. You know, third round pick ain't too bad. Um, you know, 2016. Um, can't, again, can't find the conditions. But, um, you know, I think it's the um, it's a, a win-win for both sides. Buffalo gets to lose more, and uh, Dallas gets a goal to finally kind of push Kerry Layton and it'll be better because, I mean, he's... You know, they thought drafting Jack Campbell could do that. That hasn't done it, really. Um, you know, it's just a um, it's just a, a, a raw deal. So it's, you know, the the way things work sometimes. Dallas's uh, backup goalie situation slash being able to push, um, you know, Leighton in a, to be better. But, again, I like it for both sides. You know, it's one of those things. It's not going to help Buffalo get any better, but that's not the point. You know, you want to get... Uh, you got to get worse before you get better, and you know that's it's better to be awful than to be mediocre. And da I mean, Buffalo's been awful. Don't get me wrong for one second, but you know they get even worse now with Lynn back. Um, they'll probably ride him down the stretch instead of Michael Moy there, and uh, you know we'll see uh, we'll see what happens. But bottom line, like it, plain simple. But kind of the advantage injury, I like it for both sides. I think both sides get what they want, and um, you know that's definitely you know what you want to see in a trade. You know sometimes it doesn't have to be winner or loser. Both sides can can make up pretty good. Anyway, that's all. sort of the power play with CJ on the um, Enroth for Limbach trade. Stay tuned for episodes with the season and beyond. Later, guys.